we go. I want to know the inflection points, which means I have to do the concavity test. Because I can't answer inflection points without knowing concavity. So here we go. Let's do y prime. Going to let u equal negative x squared. f of u is e to the u. So I have e to the u times negative 2x. So f prime is negative 2x e to the negative x squared. Correct? Second derivative. <coughs> Product rule here. The first times the derivative of the second. Well, let's be smart about this. Didn't I just do this derivative and got this? So negative 2x e to the negative x squared. Plus, derivative of the first is negative 2 times the second. Let's clean that up. 4x squared e to the negative x squared minus 2 e to the negative x squared. Set the second derivative equal to 0. You with me so far? This is where you respond. Okay. So set that equal to 0. Factor out that e to the x, negative x squared because it's always positive. We don't care about it. And actually, hey, let's take out a 2 as well. So I have 2x squared minus 1. Yeah? Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't factor, right? Wait, you got it? All right, this doesn't factor, which I, I would prefer to factor, but we can set that equal to 0. x squared equals 1 x squared equals one half. Ooh, do you know what the answer is right here? Plus minus one fourth. One half is the same as one over square root of two, which is the same right. as two. Unit circle. Wouldn't it just be square root of two? Oh, yeah. sorry, unit square root. Yeah, right here. I, I didn't finish it right here. Yeah. <laughs> you with me there? Number line. Now, first of all, are there any places where the derivative doesn't exist? Yeah. No. Nice, neat place. Right? Do you agree with that? Yeah. See, even if I wrote this like this, that's still not going to be zero, right? No matter what this is. Correct? Okay. So, anyway, uh, domain issues? No, no endpoints. Okay. So my number line only contains plus or minus square root of 2. Label it F double prime and F. So I want to know what the second order tells me about F. So negative square root of 2 over 2, in case you don't know what that is, it's about 0.77. Pick something really big in case you're unsure. Pick negative 10. Right? To be safe. So if I go up to the second derivative here, that's positive. Don't worry about that. <coughs> negative 10, if I plug it in here, positive or negative? 